Hello, this is Dan. I'm going to go over changing the membrane on our two-piece lid, should you need to. Uh, they're pretty rough and tough, as long as you take care of them. Uh, however, they, uh, they do get uh, holes put in them once in a while. A few tools that's needed is a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench of some sort, a sharp knife, which I recommend you keep away from your new membrane till you're ready to use it and um, I'll show you, show you what we do um, I just happen to have a T-handle wrench so what we're going to do is we're going to go around and loosen or take off loosen all of the screws so we can take the top lid off and there's a uh, 25 screws around there, so I do use my uh, battery drill. Same thing, I have a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench in it, uh, just enough to speed things up a little bit. All right, now all we need to do is lift our lid off, lift the top frame off, put this over someplace so we can keep it straight up and down. It just makes it much easier because the bolts and the washers can stay there. Uh, what we're going to do is remove our bad membrane and again we're going to leave the frame right on the, right on the press which is uh, actually going to give us a work surface. Um, while we have this apart we want to inspect the gasket, make sure the corners are down properly in the corner and where they meet a small spot of silicone glue that uh, that way if they separate it uh, it seals that up so this gasket looks really good shape. The next thing we need is our new piece of silicone. Um, we just take this and lay it out Lay, just leave it lay flat. You want to, the gasket side should be wiped off of any debris. Lay it in place so that it overlaps. It's plenty big enough. We sell these uh, 18 by 18 so you have plenty of room to work with. Simply lay it in place. Grab your top lid square it up with your bottom one so the holes match up because the way these lids are made they can go any either way any way you need them to or any way you pick them up and again square it up take your allen wrench and all we're doing is poking a hole through the membrane and we want to make sure that the screw starts properly and doesn't cross thread. What I like to do is catch the four corners so that everything stays in place and make sure the screws start. That's the most important. Uh, if, they want, if they seem to hang up or doesn't want to start easily after you do that, uh, if they feel as though they're going to cross thread, what I suggest is you turn it backwards a couple times as if you were taking it out and then restart it again and make sure it starts smoothly and easily so it doesn't cross thread. What I found happens sometimes by poking the holes in there all it does is push the the membrane out of the way to poke the hole and what I believe happens is sometimes then that membrane that little piece wants to go down inside the threads and when it does that it makes the obviously makes the threads not want to match up correctly so really all you're doing is if that gets in the way you're going to screw it back out and that will pull this up and then allow your screw to go in and hook up on the threads so I'm going to go ahead and start all of these make sure that they all start properly these are all seeping in very nice. And that's it. That's the 
hardest part is over. Now what I do, if you have the batter drill and if you have your Allen key for that, is I make sure that I turn this down on ratchet as I tighten this up. This is extremely important because if you don't, you'll pull the bottom of the lid right through. Obviously that's too tight. I turn it down, get the clutch to engage, and then I use that as actually my torque wrench and all the way around. All right, there is our lid. New membrane installed. Um, show you real quick. That's really all it takes. And there we have the, uh, there it is. There's a new membrane in place. Now what we do, we still have a sharp knife which we want to be very careful with. But what we do with a sharp knife is just trim our edge. Just take this and let it ride right along the bottom lid. Trim that off real nice and smooth or easily. Peel that away, again keeping this away from your new membrane. Peel that away and you're set, ready to go again. Now, again, if you're very careful, pay attention to what you're doing with these membranes, you'll get a lot of service out, <clears throat> excuse me, service out of them. This is a little example that I uh, actually just wanted to try. I did round the sharp corners off. Sharp corners is what will poke a hole in your membrane. When you're doing your mock-ups, if you have sharp corners somewhere for something, lay numerous layers of tape over it to soften that up. So I just hit this on the sander real quick. I wanted to see what this would do. And this is our new membrane. <laughs> just an example to show how tough it really can be and should be. There we have a 4x4 four four block under the membrane. The membrane is extremely flexible, take a lot of use. It's the abuse that it doesn't handle. Again, if I didn't round the edges, that's where we'd have trouble. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope it goes as simple for you as it does for me. Thank you very much.